there. And you guys can, of course, see all of our sponsors on the bottom. We're going to be changing that over to get the, the round ready to go, though. We have Jeremy Elliott up now. So the name in the top left is, of course, inaccurate, but I believe it's being changed in just a few seconds. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, a lot of the setups were last minute, so we didn't have time to take down everybody's name for the stream right away, so it's change as we go kind of thing. We're looking, not taking many jumps this time around, though. So we are just looking... There we go, Jeremy Elliott's name is up there. Up to 35 seconds, he's not doing bad. He has figured out the tricks, though. Got 500 points for that. Bracey, of course, is still leading the pack with 302 time-wise. Uh, with Eric Bader right behind her at 304. He's stuck on the box. He takes down both of them, though. And Justin is, of course, just talking with the main event organizer, Matthew McQueen. So they are brothers, of course. So we're just moving on from there. And it looks like this is going to be myself for a little bit, so you guys get to enjoy my voice. Um, we're doing pretty good time. A fire spin. It really is looking like people just don't know how to control the spins um everybody is really trying to do their own thing here and just get what they can done from it uh, we are gonna be looking to get down time wise oh we're gonna get the fast shoes one more time so we found them yet again what can it do for us of course it means you can't hit any cars we got a bit of a music change too is it gonna be faster for him to be running down he wasn't able to get onto the rail there we go He's on now. Good. Saved him a bit of time. But it's good to see people going for the shoes again. And of course, all of the contestants are still sitting around and watching whether they played or not. They're going to be looking for it. Just watching what other players do. They're going to be looking for the spin around. Just makes it. He's going to be looking for pretty good time at 2.06 when he started that. He's not going to be able to hit the bars there, but... It's okay. Oh, he's gonna fall. So he's gonna have to restart from the last checkpoint that he was at. I'm looking to get a decent speed boost, but slow down from the fire spin. There we go. Gonna be making good time on the jump yet again at 206 here. He's gonna be looking for the bars. He gets the first one. Doesn't make the jump though. So a bit of a slowdown there. He loses a lot of speed from it. The time for the uh, horrifying hexagon. See if he can make it across. And he does. Going to be able to kill the first enemy. And he misses the bar just barely. So it's going to cut down his time. Not a huge amount, but a little bit. He's going for a lot of jumps too. Not just running down the stairs. He's, looks like he's trying to go for the rail. And he missed it a lot of times. But we're going to get the first rail there now. Oh, going for the bar, but doesn't quite get it. So he's done that a lot where oh, we're on to the great truck chase. Oh, and it looks like another person is trying to use a spin down the road the whole time. And it looks like we may have somebody who found it out, Jeremy Elliott, going to be just going for the straight run. And it's something that we had mentioned earlier on the stream going to be a little bit quiet so that people don't hear me first, but it was something that we had mentioned where if you just hold down, you're going to make the perfect run. And it looks like he's doing that, and he's making really good time for it. So we're up to 317. That's his first time moving, so... Justin, All right, just tapping back time. in just to see Jeremy finish here. Uh, 323.74. Right on. So we got, uh, again, super competitive times going on, and it's amazing.